What's up, guys? My name is Mark Santamaria. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the RC Vlog. Finishing this car today. Hopefully, I'm finishing this car today. Bought all the parts at Indy the other day whenever I picked up my new Max. That's going to be... This is like my area of stuff that I need to open for the channel. I got the camera here. I got to build the MT410. The Max needs to get opened up. I did get another package, so let me open this up. This isn't anything crazy. This is just something I needed. But it's actually something I bought for you guys. And you'll see why here in a second. That is, this is like the world's dullest freaking razor blade or uh, exacto. I need to get a new one. Another tripod for that camera. I don't know if I'm going to use it as a. Uh, as a vlogging camera, but I'm going to show you guys a difference on them. <laughs> this, I ordered it specifically for this piece. And what this does is it makes me be able to mount two cameras on one tripod or one handle. That way you guys can see the difference between this camera, which is a, I record off a of GoPro Hero 7. And this camera, which is that really cheap high tech S60 I got. That's originally 300 bucks, got it for 25 bucks. It's just a comparison video so you guys can see a difference. I know it's not really comparing apples to apples since there's so much there's so much uh, generation difference or or model difference. This was recent. This was last year the model the Hero 7 came out and this came out like 4 years ago. But nonetheless, I'm going to do a comparison. Bought this stuff for you guys to find out. But let's get to working on this thing cuz I got all the parts for it. Let's see what we got in this bag. Ooh, these are cool. I already showed you guys what this what stuff was. Need this. I might have went a little crazy on arms. Hopefully I don't break this many arms, but I ordered them anyways. Got my side nerf bars. The 4S battery for the Max. The receipt. Gotta save that. All right, I think this is everything. Wait, there's one more piece. This, the cover. Oh, there's another piece in here. I, I actually found out something interesting. This is the rear uh, rear diff gear for a slash 4x4. If I looked at it correctly, the brush slash 4x4 has a different rear gear than the brushless for slash 4x4. And if I, when I read up on it, it looked, I think, and someone please correct me if I'm wrong, I'm actually probably gonna call Traxxas and ask him what the story is on this. But I think the Slash 4x4 brush, the one I opened on Christmas, uses the same rear diff ring, the diff ring, ring and pinion, as the Stampede, but I could be wrong. Anyways, let's get to working on this thing. something really interesting you gotta check this. <laughs> you gotta check this out all right please explain how here's one antenna and here's an another here's another antenna how are there two antenna ends antenna tops hmm the back ends on that's good Everything went together fine. Oh, I am missing one piece, but it's okay. It's a cosmetic piece. It's the uh, little clear piece that goes through here. Not too worried about that, but two antennas? I don't get it. I'll let you know what I find. Good news, everybody. I found it. I pulled this antenna completely out. <laughs> it's like you snapped the receiver, threw a new receiver in there, and then this is what we got. So... We're almost done, guys. We are in the 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 home run the home run stretch the la the end the end stretch. I don't know what the saying is. Anyways, let me finish. It's all put together. I cleaned up the wiring a little bit. The car's still a little bit dirty, but we're gonna see if it runs first. Put a battery in there. I still gotta charge the battery. I had to put the battery in there so I could put the servo horn on. Hold on, you guys aren't straight. Why didn't you tell me y'all weren't straight? Okay, now y'all are straight. Uh, I put the battery in there so I could put the servo horn on. 
But everything look good, looks good so far. And the only thing that I was missing was I was missing a wheel nut that had serrated the serrated lock nuts. I was missing one of those, so I have one of those. But what's funny is they had a whole bunch of these little itty bitty set screws in the, the little plastic bag full of parts. I think what happened is he lost some of those, maybe he lost one of those set screws and it ruined his day. So, so he went and loaded up on a whole bunch of them. But it's all fixed. It's ready to go. Nothing crazy. I don't see anything crazy going on here. Let's turn it on and see if see if she turns. I wasn't, if you were watching the uh, time lapse, you notice I took the rear end off twice. The spur gear looked like it was wobbling a little bit. I've made sure that the the screws to push this this slipper clutch on were tight because sometimes if those aren't tight, it will it will cause it to wobble. I tightened it up and it did get rid of the wobble a little bit, but I'm I'm pretty sure it's still gonna make some like gear noise. But here we go. Let's turn it on. Steering is good. I waited for you to hit the throttle. So y'all ready? All right, I gotta drive it. I gotta drive it, I gotta drive it. Let's go drive it. All right, so I plopped the car on the ground and it just slammed on the ground like the chassis slap. I need to adjust the ride height. So the way you adjust the ride height is, if you have, these actually came with your car. If you bought it brand new, you found a whole bunch of these little clips. These are the clips, they just clip around the shock body. So what you do is you pull the spring down like this and then you just snap them on there. And basically it compresses your spring a little bit more so that way it raises your shock your ride height all right batteries all charged up we're running out of daylight a little bit so I'm gonna try to hurry but so the only thing I did again I adjusted the ride height and then for some reason on Traxxas slash 404s I've had two I've had this one that I got for Christmas that I opened up on camera then I got this one for some reason they tow in I guess they do it because it's a little bit easier to drive or it's not as aggressive but I fixed the uh, toe in the front so basically when you get it, the car's towed in a little bit. And what that does is it kind of uh, dulls your steering a little bit. So whenever you jerk steering back and forth, it doesn't just rip your car over really quick. It's not as twitchy. I like my car to be towed out a little bit. It makes it a little bit more twitchy, a little bit more aggressive on turns. That's just what I'm used to whenever I race. So that's what I did. I also added just a little bit of camber in the front. Um, I don't, it would look like it was positive camber, meaning the tires are sitting like this. I got them sit almost straight up and down maybe negative one degree camber but all right let's run this oh the other thing that's great about these cars i love about these cars is the bodies just you can use anybody so we're going to use a slash four wheel drive body that i got for christmas off that other kit the back posts are like chewed up by a dog or something and then we are gonna we're gonna rip all right guys Big thanks to my son. He's behind the camera recording for us. First time running. Here, I haven't shoot the car, but. Ooh, slammed down a little bit. Hold on, I'm getting a phone call, of course. Ooh, steering trims off a little bit. Well, that's not bad. All right, so that's on, look at me real quick, Evan. That's on 2S, that's not on 3S. I was gonna throw a 3S in there, but um, that might be a little too aggressive at first. So we're just gonna run it up and down the street on two us just to see how it runs, so. <laughs> Woo, that guy, <laughs> did you see that it came up on? It came up on two wheels. I, it, this doesn't have TSM, but luckily I've got some, some built-in TSM. Looks like the shocks are a little soft. That's why it's look body rolling a little bit. Whenever I come around this curve, the two wheels are coming up a little bit, but you can see. Watch. Ooh, did you see that body sway? Well, here we go. Ooh, see that? See how it kind of caught up on the side a little bit? That's either the steering servo, which the steering servo is pretty weak, and the servo horns on these things are really, really uh, light. So what happens is whenever it starts to steer a little bit, it kind of jerks the car over. 
see how I came up on two there. So, but overall, it runs pretty good. I, it's going to be a really forgiving car whenever we're just off-roading with it. It's got Proline bad lines on it. You can hear the drive shaft moving around a little bit, which is pretty typical on these things. But it runs, it runs freaking good. Well, there you have it, guys. That's a wrap. This car is done, man. I'm really excited. I'm going to let my son drive this whenever I go put my Max up together and running. So I'm going to get my Max running. I'm going to let my son ride this. I'm actually going to strap the camera on this thing also since the, the, the suspension is really soft. It should be really good on the movement and jittery. So if you like this video, guys, smash that like button, subscribe to my channel, turn on the notification bell, and you guys will see me next time. Later, guys.